America. We start tonight in Warwick County, where first responders are coming off a very busy week, battling several fires as the weather remains hot and dry. But the fires are sparking a debate over whether or not some of those departments should transition from volunteers to paid employees. Eyewitness News Ryan Wittry is here with a closer look. Ryan? Brad, Shelley, no two fire departments are the same. Some volunteer departments are struggling to find, well, volunteers, and some are wondering if they should be volunteers or paid employees. But some leaders in Warwick County say the times are changing. It's been a busy week in Newburgh, from the Foundry Fire on Wednesday to a fire on Darby Hill Road on Thursday to a fire on West Posey Street early on Friday. In today's time with codes and, and uh, safety, that's, that's unusual. If you go back to the 1980s, four fires in a week was not necessarily unusual. But as Newburgh and Warwick County continue to grow, some say it's a matter of when, not if, some departments like Ohio Township will transition from volunteer status to a paid department. The day is coming, and it's coming, you know, very quickly because we, we're recognizing what's happening with our volunteers and so we're we're actually in the process right now of trying to um, look at uh, funding sources that we've got available to try and start that process well some departments like the yankee town volunteer fire department say it's not exactly feasible that's not needed here we don't have the runs to to pay the people okay we average a little over 100 runs, right at 100 runs a year, and that's including accidents, medical, fires. So it would hard, be hard for us to justify. Ohio Township Fire Department Captain David Chipley says the most important question isn't if or when the department transitions, but how they do it. I would like the community to step up and say, yes, we want to go paid, but we want to do it right. What's that going to cost? Okay, that's the kicker. There's a cost to doing it right. And Scott Township's doing it right, and other departments aren't doing it right. So what does that mean? Well, Captain Shipley says it comes down to how much people are willing to pay for fire protection. If we go paid, would it go up? Would the service go up or down? Well, that depends on how many men you're willing to pay, which affects your taxes, and that's up to the community in a sense of saying, yes, I want to pay more taxes or no, this is working. Captain Shipley says all firefighters in Indiana, volunteer or otherwise, have to go through the same training and certifications to serve and no matter what, they'll continue trying to give the township the best protection they can offer. Ryan Wittry, Iowans News.